of workers from the Acadiana area, where I'm from, around New Iberia. And the families were extremely distraught because they knew their loved ones were on the rig. They didn't know whether they were safe or not. They didn't know if they made it off or not. So we spent the first 24 hours helping these families get through the situation. A work boat actually rescued a large number of the workers, but they were not allowed to use the satellite phone to call their loved ones. And it took them quite some time from the rig site, which again was 50 miles offshore, to make it in to a, a landing in Fushan. And until they got to Fushan, their families didn't know whether they were alive, dead, injured, and I hate to say safe, but the horrendous impact it's had on every one of those workers is just <coughs> The well, the rig burned, and on April 22nd, Earth Day, it sank into the Gulf of Mexico. Earth Day was supposed to be a really special day for us, Mary Dior, Adeline, and I, and Paul and Michael have been working with John Barmaster, and he had put together a companion book to Ocean's The Disney Movie. And I had written one of the chapters. There were 30 chapters in the book, and he selected people from across the world to write chapters. And the book Oceans was being released on Earth Day, and it was going to be a really special Earth Day. And in fact, it was a really horrible Earth Day. Next slide. From the day the rig exploded and burned, it started dumping Louisiana Sweet Crew and natural gas from the wellhead, which was 5,000 feet below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. And the Louisiana Sweet Crew and natural gas flowed from that well from April the 20th through July 15, 2010. Ah. BP had goals. Their goals were two. One, stop the flow of oil from the wellhead. And two, stop as much of that crude oil from making it to the shores and having an impact on the wetlands and beaches of the northern Gulf of Mexico. Next one, please. The crude oil actually hit the beaches nine days after the explosion. So that was their first goal that didn't work. And as you know, the one of stopping the crude didn't happen until July 15th. So they didn't meet any of their initial goals they had set forth. The crude oil migrated into the wetlands, marshes, estuaries, and beaches of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida. There are two human populations that were impacted the most. And we will hear a lot more about other populations, but initially there were two. There were community members living along the coastal areas of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Panhandle of Florida. And then there were the fishermen and workers who were employed by BP and BP contractors to install booms and clean up the crude oil. Both of these communities consisted of environmental justice communities, African Americans, Vietnamese, Pacific Islanders, Laotian, and Native Americans. 